Hi everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to go about showing your Google Plus profile right next to the Google search results. In this case, I search for top 5 Tumblr themes and uh, search results show something like this. Um, only the Mashable search result has a uh, author profile. So you're most likely to click on this particular search result because of the simple reason it shows a photograph right next to it. It increases the click through rate drastically. Um, so the first step that is involved is uh, what you have to do. You have to go to the dashboard of your uh, blog. Then uh, under that, you go to add new. And this, of course, I'm assuming that you haven't installed uh, the WordPress SEO. That is the name of the plugin. So what you do is you go to add new. Under plugins, you search for WordPress SEO. Here you go. I've already installed on this. so. I'm just going to show you how, what it's going to look like. Uh, WordPress SEO by Yoast. Uh, here it is. It's already installed. So you go to the install plugins. Once you've installed it, it's going to show up here. WordPress SEO. Um, next, what you do is you go to the profiles, the user profiles of your blog. Uh, it's going to show up right under plugins, all users. You scroll down. This is what your profile would look like. What this SEO plugin has done is it has added one more field to it. Uh, here it is, yeah, the Google Plus profile. So this Google Plus profile field is going to help the Google bot try to reloc relocate your uh, author profile on Google Plus. So you add your Google Plus profile link, scroll down, add your name to it and the meta description and update profile. Uh, once you've done this, the next step is to link your Google Plus profile to your blog. So how you do that is you go to your Google Plus profile, edit that under work um, or your additional email IDs. Uh, just a sec, let me show you how to go about edit it. Click on edit profile scroll down here it is yeah under work add the add the email id that you have of your blog or uh, in this case these are three blogs that are right for so here you can see the two email ids shivam at music dip dot in and shivam at my take on stuff dot in um they have a tick mark right next to it that shows that these email ids are verified and however my take on flex does not so what you have to do is the moment you add your email id uh, you'll get an e email from uh, google plus asking you to verify the email address fairly simple process all you have to do is click verify and you'll get a tick right here um in this case my take on flex does not uh, is not verified so it asked me to it's asking me to verify um the next step th uh, that is involved is what you do is under the contributor section you add your blog's name. Uh, make sure that uh, it is HTTPS uh, www, then the name of the URL, if that is how your blog is. If it doesn't have a www, then make sure it's in the same URL format. Otherwise, it's going to show the error. Um, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much about it. So now what you have to do is you have to verify if the linking has been done correctly or not. So next step is you go to Google Webmaster. Uh, this is a URL, google.com slash webmasters slash tools slash rich snippets. Under this, you add the URL of your uh, blog post. In this case, I'm going to add, just a sec, Microsoft Launcher Surface. You copy the URL. Um, just another thing that I forgot to add is, uh, on your blog, ensure that under the blog post, it reads by the user, uh, by the author. So in this case, it reads uh, Microsoft Launcher Surface by Shivam Sharma. So in your case, name of your author. Uh, go to read snippets, paste the URL here, preview. And if you've done everything correctly, exactly, yeah, it should show your profile right next to it. Um, this doesn't ensure that it's going to show up 
right away on Google, but uh, over a period of next three to four weeks, it should definitely show up uh, on Google. Uh, that's it for now, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.